I'm here with Antonella. Hi, Antonella. Hi. Tell me what you do with the AIFS Richmond programs. Well, I teach the history of Baroque, or Baroque, whichever way we want to see it, and then art and culture, which is a program that takes you through Rome like a very in-depth tourist, and we do the things like in the movies, we go and see the Trevi Fountain and other great sites of Rome, and you do, the students love it. And what are some of the things that you think that they enjoy most about it? Being uh, on site? Or? I think being on site is definitely the, the best thing possible because maybe they've heard so much about different places. Some of them have seen them on the internet before leaving. Some of them may have even seen the old movies that are history for them. And they really love to see the Trevi Fountain, Spanish Steps, the Colosseum and everything like that. What are some of your favorite places to visit and show the students? Uh, for me, the Pantheon is always the best best in general and then well obviously I'm at heart an archaeologist I would say the Colosseum. <laughs> and this weekend you've been in Florence yes. with a uh, pre-college yes, students. Yes, yes. And what's that been like? What kind of things well, have you been Well I was pleasurably impressed because they were so eager to, to go, so eager to see and it's, it's always nice to have people that are there just I would say listening to you because it's something new and they, they really love to see the David. The David was their best I think that's by looking at their eyes and how they were admiring it, I would say that definitely the David was the highlight of this weekend or these two days in Florence. Now, if you were talking to an American student who was thinking of coming abroad, what kind of expectations should they have? Uh, or what should they prepare? What to should be they amazed. be prepared for? <laughs> <laughs> to be amazed because it's such a different world to what they're used to. It's not so much the fact that they're steeped in 3,000 years of history, which is something that for an American is almost impossible to conceive. And then it's just an eye-opener to the luxuries they have back home too, because Italy is obviously a beautiful place, but it's no America. Mm -hmm. And they have to learn to walk, they have to learn to uh, a lot of things that probably they've never thought about before in their young lives. So right. it, it's, it's definitely a lifetime experience, both for the things they're seeing and learning, but also as, as, as a life, you know, you're, you're realizing what you, you have got and what you do have back home. And if they were considering coming abroad, what would you say? Is this an experience that they should do? Definitely, definitely. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime at that age. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I think they should definitely try. Um, if they, you know, it's it's better than, than many other things. They may not realize it now. They, 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 they'll appreciate it even when they're older, but definitely it's something I would tell them all to do. Great, thanks. You're welcome.